In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a custom third brake light to keep your Jeep legal if you've performed a spare tire delete. So if you have an 0306, you should have this tailgate, which means you have this vent. Um, it's just a rubber vent um, that is over a hole in the tailgate. Um, I knew I wanted to put my third brake light in here because it kind of looks factory uh, and it'll be hidden. Um, so I wanted to find a light that would fit in here. Uh, I went online and in the end I found a light strip. This is what it looks like, it came with two. Um, and I was really lucky. It was the perfect size to fit in here. Um, so I bought it and went about figuring out how to install it in here. So let me show you how to remove this. Just get a tool. Uh, Probably something not this sharp so you don't ruin the paintwork, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, you kind of get it, but you just peel this back. Very simple. You might not even need this. Uh, you kind of just push down. And pop, you kind of want to push down and pull, and that pops that off. Same on the other side. Just going to push down and pull. And that pops out, and then you can just lift this out. Okay, so when you remove it, um, there are two tabs here uh, that you kind of have to press down. That's what holds it in, and then two at the bottom. Now if you look, I have it in the top here, and to get it in here, you have to lift up this flap. And I just kind of shoved it in there. I pushed it in behind these bars and uh, in front of this because I wanted, I didn't want this otherwise to be covering it um, and I kind of pushed it all the way through uh, I couldn't do it without removing some of the bars so I had to snip off these two bars here um, just with some pliers uh, I mean some uh, cutters and that gave me enough room to push it in I wanted to remove the least amount possible and two was the two was the best I could do and then I just pushed it in all the way through made sure this flap was behind it and I tried to center it as best as I could with equal space between there and there. I didn't glue it or anything like that. This is just held in complete with friction. Uh, you do have to jam it in pretty hard. Um, once I pushed it in, I also pushed it at the bottom here as much as possible. So it was kind of facing flat rather than tilted. Otherwise, it'd be tilted. So I kind of pushed as much as I could to get as flat as I could. Um, and that's, that's how it looks. I also wanted to make sure the wires were coming out this side. Um, and you can see here, so they can go to the, where the original third brake light wiring goes and I'll show you how that works. Um, if you look the wires, you can just shove them in here and they will pop out the other side. Uh, let me show you that. This cover is pretty easy to remove. It's just one Phillips head. And it really the screw is the only thing that's holding it in. You just kind of pull it this way. Okay, so what I did was I fished the wires through the big hole at the back. Um, and you can kind of see them through this grate. Um, I pushed them through, managed to get them to the hole and then just used some pliers to pull them through. So they're following the factory routing. Uh, I used some electrical tape to hold the wires in place. Uh, fish them through here and I stripped the wires so there was enough to wrap around these posts. There are two posts sticking out here. Um, for in the factory wiring you on your third brake light there's a connector you just kind of push onto these. I didn't have one. Uh, I didn't want to hack up my connector. Uh, so I just stripped the wires from the f that when you buy this there's not really much wire to work with on there. So I just took the installation off and I just wrapped them around here and I just held them on uh, with some electrical tape. Uh, you can do a clean installation if you want by getting proper connectors. I just didn't feel the need to do that. Um, and it works pretty well. If you can see here, when you shut this, it connects to these connections right here. The bottom one is positive and the top one is negative. It should be the same for everyone. But if you want to test it, you just have someone press on the brake pedal and you just push these two wires to the connectors to see what makes them light up 
and mine one was positive down here and negative at the top. And that's really all I did. Um, once that was done, uh, before I kind of put everything to get back together, I shut this, made sure the light worked, uh, made sure these were connected as well as possible with my electrical tape, and then I just put the cover back on, and I was done. So let me put it back together so you can see how it works. We shut the tailgate. This is what it should look like. See the wire sticking out there. Just kind of feed the wires through, doesn't really matter. And then pop this back on. Try not to get the wires caught behind this. Once you've got it all installed again, go ahead and shut the tailgate, step on the brake and make sure it's working. And you're done. Thanks for watching.